What's up YouTube? This is James and I'm back with another 21 Pilots reaction. This one is Choker. Uh, this is the second single off of their new album and um, yeah, I've been getting a lot of suggestions or a lot of uh, people asking me to do this. Um, so I guess I'm ready for it. Uh, 21 Pilots always has me. Uh, SWB sort of audio capture whenever, uh, not registered. It's gonna be a brain twister. So uh, let's just go ahead and hop in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, let's go. Stop by. I like how the music is like just kind of light and fun, um, kind of like whimsical, if that's the right word. Um, not too uh, like dark and heavy, like a lot of 21 Pilot songs. Big fun. Second hand, cut us open, spread us out, dry us in the sand, lay the fiber side by side, and you begin to understand. So, is he just saying basically, you know, he's uh, living his life, he's not, not here to mess with anyone, and he's kind of minding his, his own business? Um, um, I just caught that it says Dima on that coffee cup. Um, that's kind of what I gathered from it. Uh, maybe there's more to it. Uh, let me know if you guys know. I mean, if there's anything that I missed from previous songs or whatever. But on the service, that's kind of what it seems like. Kind of a SWB audio uh, capture like, hey, not uh, registered. I'm living my life. I'm not bothering anyone. I didn't I was born a choker, nobody's coming for me. Uh, does that mean that like, he was born um, to be like anxious and depressed? But he said, I know it's over, nobody's coming for me. So does that mean that he knows that like maybe he's not depressed anymore? Um, nobody's after him. Um, also, is that a dragon from the last video? There's probably a ton of Easter eggs in this video, and I'm just not seeing them. Choking on the circumstance, self-sabotage is a sweet romance. Um, I'll just skip to the self-sabotage is a sweet romance. Um, I, we all know what self-sabotage is. Uh, it could cut, yeah. Basically, anything in life, um, so if you feel like you're not, like, um, I guess, uh, good enough for something, or if you don't want to be let down, you sabotage yourself. Um, SWB audio yeah, capture I not registered. Kind of romanticizing that, um, but maybe it's like it feels good to uh, self sabotage. Like um, even though it's a bad feeling later, it's a good feeling at the time because you take yourself out of that weird situation. Uh, maybe it's a relationship, um, and then again, it could be a play on a relationship, and that's why he threw it threw in the romance part. Um, 
not really sure. But uh, I mean, it's definitely talking about self sabotage, which is, you know, um, basically taking yourself um, out of a situation where you uh, don't feel comfortable being in or don't believe for some reason that you deserve to be in um whether it's like uh work or with uh, friends or in a relationship somehow um you mess up the relationship and uh uh feels good for the moment sucks later self-sabotage is a sweet romance Seems like all I'm worth is what I'm able to withstand. Um, not really gonna break that down. I think it pretty much means what it, it meant on the surface. Uh, let me know if it meant something deeper. But I like I like the um, the line. That was nice. I'm worth is what I'm able to withstand. Sooner I can realize that pain is just the middle man. Ah, that's that's a good one. If you think about that, like, like use your body for example. Like if you have a headache, like that's SWB the pain. audio the pain capture you feel, not registered. It's probably you have a headache because you have a different underlying like reason behind it, or if like you know your heart's beating fast or something, and you don't know why. It's probably because you have an underlying condition. And so the pain is just the middleman to let you know what's really going on. Interesting. Trying to think of a, a good uh, correlation, like in the real world, uh, that he, he could be using it as. But um, I mean, I think it goes with depression and anxiety and all of that stuff as well, because the pain you feel you know, as a symptom of being sick, being um, depressed, which is a sickness. I don't know. That's uh, one I'm going to ponder on. I like the line again, though. said I was born a choker, right? Not joker, I was born a choker. That's the name of the song, okay. What does it say? Buy our stuff, please. Smiling on camera. Five dollars, no, car purchases. Okay. Welcome, nobody's coming for me. I see no volunteers to co-sign on my fears. I'll sign. On the line. I see no volunteers to co-sign on my fears. I'll sign on the line. Uh, when you co-sign something, like usually it's because uh, you don't have the means to get it yourself, so you find somebody to co sign SWB audio uh, capture not registered. In slang terms like someone's like, you know, uh, let's go to this restaurant. It's dope. They're like, yeah, I co-sign that. Like they back it up. So I guess basically he's saying he finds nobody um, to back up his fears or to stand up for him. Um, so he's just going to take the take the bullet and sign on the line himself. Um, yeah, this song's um, I don't know if I'm sleepy or if it's just actually got me twisted. Sign on the line. Alone, gonna change my circumstance. I know I need to move right now, cause I know it's over. I was born a choker. Nobody's coming for me. So, does this sound like breaking out of? Um depression or anxiety um i'm not sure what the um, uh store owner or his brother whatever chasing him the gun symbolizes he's saying nobody's coming for me um 
or why he stole the dragon. Maybe you guys can help me out with that. Um, but I think this is his uh, breaking free from um, like darkness, kind of. SWB audio capture not registered. Like a little splinter is stuck in your skin. Um, what do I say? You could push it up. Someone else could push it out. Hold on. Like a little splinter buried in your skin. Someone else can carve it out, but when you've got the pin, it hurts a little less, and you can even push it further. But when you've got the pin, it hurts a little less, and you can even per push it further. When Hold on. Body screaming out, trust your mind's listening. All right, I'm gonna break down this stuff part. So I take that two ways. Um, could be talking about his pin, like um, it's better for him to write the music that he writes, um, because he can push it further, and. Um, you know, that helps to get the splinter out, that helps to get it, the the bad stuff out. Um, actually, maybe even three ways. You can literally take it as, um, you know, if you have a splinter and someone else is messing with it, uh, it hurts, I guess, more. Um, but I'll, let me listen to this one more time. It hurts a little less and you can even push it further in so you could take that as you know if you were getting your own splinter out it hurts less uh, but you could also take it as um, if you like to harm yourself and it hurts less because you're doing it and you could push it further in um, you know depending on what that splinter, what that splinter means to you push uh, your feelings deeper down inside, push the splinter further in to hurt more, uh, even though it hurts less. SWB audio capture, like not uh, registered. Maybe I'm thinking too much about that, but um, with 21 Pilots, I would never, never doubt that they're having triple meanings to things, so. Like a little splinter buried in your skin, someone else can carve it out, but when you've got the pin, it hurts a little less and you can even push it further in when your body's screaming out trust your mind's listening when your body's screaming out trust your mind is listening um that says a lot too uh that goes back to the the pain in the middle man and actually even just the splinter and the pain it's just pain in general um but if your body you know is telling you something uh, your mind's listening um so uh, that goes with everything uh, from like a physical illness to um, like a mental illness uh, all at the same time. So the way I kind of see that is uh, like a lot of times if you're depressed, your like body is worn down, tired, and it feels beat up and your mind's listening to that, it starts to feel, feel the same way um, or it could go in reverse, um, which takes me back to the, the splinter thing you know, it goes both ways. Probably overthinking all of this, but uh, let me know in the comments what 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 he actually means about my off here. Carve it out, but when you've got the pin, it hurts a little less, and you can even push it further in when your body's screaming out. Trust your mind's listening, like a silhouette that you can barely see, as a shadow casts upon the ground where you'll eventually lay forever. But the day goes on, the sun moves behind you. You get taller, bolder, stronger, and the rear view only blinds. All right, so that was like a positive, uh, I don't, I guess I'm assuming ending. I don't know what the hell is about to happen with the, uh, like, have a see the dragon, but kind of a positive line. SWB about, audio like, capture, not registered. You get taller, because like as the sun comes up, your shadow goes from small, or bigger to smaller. So, you know, you can stand up taller. Um, 
that was a cool uh, way to put that where you'll eventually lay forever but the day goes on the sun moves behind you you'll get taller bolder stronger and the rear view only blinds you the rear view blinds you because the sun came up and the rear view meaning your past you know there's no reason to look back because it's blinding it's bad the fuck? <laughs> Alright, I don't know what the hell that meant. That's a replace, that's cool. Alright, so 21 Pilots, Choker. Um, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm a little lost. Um, both of the lyrics and the visual of the song. I think the song is about him generally being happier and coming out of like uh, depression or anxiety. Um, and you know, the feelings that go along with that and how to recognize those feelings and um, you know, the pain and like we said, it's the middleman, etc. But there's some things that I was confused about, which I mentioned throughout the song, or the video, which if you guys know, you can help me out with. Uh, and the visual of the video was just, was really confusing to me because um, I think the dragon was from the last video. Uh, I didn't get the dog becoming, um, I guess, a toy or a figurine. And then him- SWB you know, audio like capture, not by. registered. Um, Toy. So help me out, guys. I'm I'm stuck on this one, uh, but good song. Uh, I think definitely a more upbeat, positive type uh, song from Twenty One Pilots. Uh, I think you guys said uh, that some of their older older music is uh, like this. So I guess I'll have to check that out. Uh, but it's different for me. Um, I like the rap at the end. Um, said a lot and a very small amount of words, which is cool. And um, yeah, I'm here for it. Uh, looking forward to the album. So um, yeah, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, be safe and deuces.